Okay, we are going to see generation of clock signal. The aim is to generate a clock signal using the IC triple five timer is stable mode in stable mode. And this is the commons required. Pin diagram of IC triple five. circuit diagram of ic triple five and this is the input of capacitance input and this is the output of ic triple five you can see we are giving eight volt in rbs and you can see the output that is output and uh, capacity input. So you can see it is like AXA tooth. So it is the capacitor output uh, and this is the output of the triple five IC clock signal. The commands required are 1 kilo ohm resistance to and 0 0.1 mu of disk capacitor and IC triple five one and also breadboard and connecting wires and on RPS and one CRO. You can see here a small curve is here so it is the right position to fix the IC so it has 8 pins you must count as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 now you can give the connection according to the circuit diagram so according to the circuit diagram we have connected 8 and 4 you can see 4th pin and 8th pin are connected now according to the circuit diagram you can see the 4th pin and 7th pin are connected using a resistance So according to the circuit diagram we are going to uh, fix a resistance to 6 and 7 but you can see 6 and 7 are in by for that we are using a wire connecting wire to connect from to connect the resistance from 6 and 7 you can see. Now next we are connected 6 and 2 you can see 6 and 2 connected with the connecting wire 2 here and 6 here connected. Now we are going to connect a capacitor from 6 and 6 or 2 to 1 either 6 6 or 2, 2, 1 and also 1 to 5 another capacitor. See according to the circuit diagram we have connected one capacitor to the pin and on 2, 1 and 2 and also another capacitor to the uh, pin 1 and 5. For 1 and 5 we have connected a wire. See capacitor in pin 1. one and it is connected by a wire to 5. Now next we are going to connect the RPS and going to give 8 voltage and also output that is capacitor output and also the uh, clock signal output to the CRO that is also according to the circuit diagram. 
now you can notice the connection from the rps is from 4 and 1 and the output of capacitor is from 2 and 1 and the CRO out is 3 and 1 and you can keep 5 to 10 also the voltage by RPS by using RPS now you can see the output of capacitance output and uh, triple phi triple phi ICs uh, clock signal you can see the time period is phi mu s and voltage is 2 according to this you can measure and write the time period and voltage